two hours to people talking about their revaluation re problems. And if you hear the same thing in Huntersville and Cornelius, you heard it in Davidson, you heard it in Myers Park, I heard it in Midhill, Pineville, Matthews, it was like, Houston, we have a problem. And I was committed to fix it because this is the sign that the revaluation folks, they would be in the audience at the chamber and they kept saying, fix it. And I listened to them. And then I led the charge to get rid of the manager and do the right thing. And we are in a much better shape now. It's not perfect, but we're in a much better shape now. And that's what I was trying to tell the, the, you know, the state government and the Department of Transportation. People will understand if you screw up, but they don't understand if you don't fix it. And trusting government is more important than anything. And I didn't buy it when they, the guy said, well, we don't have money. I said, sir, you have money. It's the priority you don't have. There's always money. It's a matter of priorities. So I was trying to tell them to listen to the people because the people, they know, all the, they know the details more than the Department of Transportation does. And I kept warning them to listen to the people. And I didn't buy the part about the $100 million because the revaluation costs more than $100 million. I mean, let's remember that. I mean, we had... I can't remember, and maybe Jim will help me. I mean, I know we gave, we had 246,000 checks that we sent out, and you know, I think it was you know, in the multi-millions of dollars. Plus, that put us at a disadvantage for the county. And then you know the city, they've been complaining about the revaluation. And the six towns, all six towns suffered. Everybody suffered. But we fixed it. And it's better, and it's going to. We have a better structure going forward. And so, I the hundred million dollar thing that they keep throwing around, I'm just not buying that because the county we had a big, we had that much of a problem. So it's a matter of sticking together. We've got to get a lot of people are still asleep at the switch. I give you so much credit for all that you've done, and I'm. Many of you have spent time with me and answered my question. I have been to meetings. I went to meetings last year. The last. Uh, 15, 14 months, I would say, maybe 18 months, up in Huntersville and Cornelius uh, to try to learn more about it. And some of this nonsense that's coming out of Raleigh and the Department of Transportation is just unbelievable. I mean, something is definitely going on, and they, they're protecting it. They don't want to talk about it. And we've got to force them to open the doors, and they, we've got to force them to fix it. We have to get them to fix it. And again, I just, uh, I'm proud to be a, an at-large county commissioner because I represent you and people have said to me, and I, oh, thank you for supporting me. It's easy because it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do for me to be standing here and supporting you. And um, I will continue to fight for you. And yes, I've already heard from some of the legislators in Raleigh who are not very upset, who are very upset with me because I've been so strong on this. But it's like, I said, they should listen to the people too. They need to listen to the people too. Right. So keep on fighting. I will be there to fight, and I I will give this back so you can have your your district one hero and my <laughs> wonderful colleague, who is just amazing, uh, Jim Puckett, to come up here and talk to you. So thank you again for your hospitality.